Okay, guys, I'm here today with Gil Martinez. Huge honor for me. Guys, I'm a big fan. I have watched like a bunch of his matches. And uh, nowadays, like every single Nogi tournament you watch, he's probably there and he's always fighting against the best guys. He has beat many of the best guys in Jiu-Jitsu, like for example, João Miao and uh, many others. And uh, he, he shot an entire structure with us for VGFX, all about the truck. That's a very like different position, right? And today he's gonna show us here a very, very interesting move that he just did on me. And uh, it's the dogfight going to the twist back, going to the truck. And it's really, really cool. And I think the, the dogfight is something that everybody who does halfway at some point have played the dogfight. And uh, check it out what he's gonna do because that was awesome. So, all right, so that. we're gonna start the Z guard and I'm gonna go to dogfight, twist back to the truck. The truck you can find it anywhere, right? So um, this is just a weird, different place to find it. One of my favorite places to hit it. So we'll start from Z guard. I'll move my left knee out of the way. Shoot, bump, pull up towards the mat. Shoot through my legs. Now I'm up here. I can let go once I come up and now I got this control. Me personally, what I like to do, instead of holding around the waist, I'm gonna go around the shoulder. I wanna lock and control that shoulder. I'll pick my hip up and I'm gonna spin around and make sure my belly's on his back, lower back right here. Now I'm gonna hook that left leg all the way around. The more I turn around the back, the easier it's gonna be for me to just fall back. That leg's gonna loop around and I'm gonna lock it up. If they keep this arm over hook here, I'm gonna get that nice shoulder lock, gable grip, boom. If he lets go a lot of times, I'm gonna lock it up with my head and shoulder, almost like a pillow arm bar. I'm gonna keep this nice and tight. I'm gonna get a nice gable grip, slide below the elbow and turn my shoulder. And they call this the baby twister right here. A nice mm -hmm. arm lock. And then you can always, if you pull that arm out, you can always grab the shoulder and just go for the back take and 5-0, bring that arm out, gable grip and get a nice rear naked choke. Man, that's amazing. So it's almost like three submissions in one, in one position. Let's do it again, Joe. So, dog fight. Ooh. Ah, man. Damn, that's awesome. So, dude, let's almost do like slow motion here, every single step you're doing, because there's a lot of things we'll here come my attention. Fight. Yeah, so even like when you go to the dog fight, I notice that you're going a different way. Like, you almost like, most of the people I see going to the dog fight, the, as I normally do as well, like we just go like this. Sounds like you go like. That's great. I, I like to always. Eddie Bro always told me to lock the body, never leave any room, because if you come up to your elbow in dog fight, yep. there's some more of guillotine. So yeah, yeah. when we go to dog fight, we like to S grip. Yeah, they're that, bigger that's, guy. That was very different for me. You go gable grip or S grip if he's big. I'm gonna pull him in. I like to hook that leg, and as I hook that leg, I pop my hip out towards the mat and I pull my right leg out. This is like a candy cane position. I use my head and shoulder to climb up. Man, I never awesome. let go till I go up. That's awesome. Then once I come up, I'm here. I got good control. Now the option, I got a lot of options. Knee tab, I can roll them over, but I like to go to a truck, so I'm gonna reach around. That makes it easier for me to spin around, all the way around. There's a lot of pressure on that arm already. So I make them wanna lean back as I yeah. hook that leg and over. It just falls here. So yeah, I have seen people doing that, but normally when they do that, that I saw, they go forward. So you go sideways. Yes, I like to fall towards your shoulder right there. Man, that's awesome. And then I end up in that angle with your back flat on the mat. Yeah. I get a nice gable right here. Guys, now pay attention how many options he has here. Pretty much like anything I do, he has one reaction going to a submission. So from here, he goes to the shoulder lock, which is crazy tight. He loosens up. If I stretch my arm. I trap that arm back. I lean back with my head, almost like a violin arm bar. It's like a pillow arm bar, but Eddie Bravo calls it the baby twister. Baby twister, man, yeah. that's a great name. I like to go past the elbow, gable grip, turn my shoulder, I lean back. Now when he pulls that arm out, I grab the shoulder, keep him tight, chest to back, pull him in. And right away we go to the collar tie. We're gonna go 5-0, shove that down, and then go for the neck at the same time. They call that the collar tie. I'm gonna bring my right leg over, kick the heel towards the belly, pinch your knees, I to gable grip, try to short choke, but then go palms down, grab the shoulder around the bicep, pinch your elbows, and use your head. Man, that's amazing. Wow, that's amazing. And uh, uh, you, 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 th those three submissions from there, 
And then even like the, the dog fight with all these details, you develop or you, it, like, or like, you, you mix it up with spice and put some spice on from... Yeah, you know, okay. my, my master, Eddie Bravo, he's very technical and um, you know, all my foundation just came from Eddie Bravo and then... And then you put things here and there. Yeah, just adapting something. to my body type and just like the way I envision it. Coming from a breakdancing background, I always like to flip the move. That's what we do. You learn like a foundation move and then you make it your own. You know, okay. you kind of flip it in your way. I got no, that was amazing. Yeah, when I, when we shot with Eddie, I, I was telling you guys early off the camera, but now on the camera, I was very very impressed with like how many details, how many variations, how many sequence there. Because when you see from outside, as I use see for example, oh that's the rubber guard. You bring right. the leg here. No, there's like whole world around yeah. that, that, that many times you don't even see. And uh, so it's been a great experience to learn more and it's a you know the the no there's a whole complex nogi system out there and Eddie bravo's been doing it for a long time longer than a lot of people just focusing on a nogi okay. and people miss out on a lot of the details you know they just think is be explosive you know take yeah. your shirt off be slippery and explosive but yeah, yeah. i never been that kind of grappler i always wanted to be more of a technical grappler since i'm yeah. a smaller grappler got it yeah no and you you one thing that's cool about you is that as a smaller grappler, you do very well against the heavier grapplers too, like in the men's yeah. tournament, so you can see how that works. Yes, guys, we shot this in, in the entire structure with you about all about the truck. So, one entire structure all about the truck, and it's going to be at bgjfanatics.com soon. So, may, maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So, make sure to check that out, and thanks so much. Thank you. appreciate it. It was awesome. Was Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.